Hey guys, welcome back to Living in Thailand. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming on back. Your girl got another video and it's another DIY. This time it's DIY faux ceramic vases, which I'm so excited because I've seen so many people on YouTube do this and they make it seem so easy and I'm here to tell you that it is easy. Um, I'm going to show you how I flip these very, very inexpensive vases that I got from the Dollar Tree and thrifted to make these really, really beautiful um, ceramic, faux ceramic vases that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely adore. Um, so yeah, let's just go on and get right into it. All right, jumping right into it of the things that you will need. So of course you're gonna need your vase. Um, you're gonna definitely need that. Um, baking soda. Baking soda is the key to this DIY. You need baking soda. You cannot skip baking soda in this DIY. You're gonna also need some wooden sticks to mix your paint with the baking soda and water and everything. You're gonna need some paint brushes, of course, to actually paint um, on your vase or your sculpture, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna need some type of bowl to mix everything together and of course your paint. Um, I am gonna say do not use a paper anything in this DIY if you attempt to do it just because if you do start to add water with it and you know when you add water to paper it just gets really soggy and that's what I experienced so I had to use glass or plastic so that's what I would recommend. Um, so yeah, you're gonna put your paint into a bowl and then you're just literally gonna add baking soda to it um, I said I got baking soda so many times that song was like stuck in my head um, but yeah so you're gonna put as much baking soda as you want I put too much it looks like but um, the more baking soda you put in the thicker the consistency is gonna be the less the less you know it's not gonna be as thick if you do make it too thick and you're like okay I don't want it this thick all you have to do is add water to it all you have to do is add water to it and it loosens it right up add more baking soda if you want to thicken it up um, add water if you want to loosen it up so I wanted it to be a little bit thick um, because it was black and black is such a deep color and I wanted you to still kind of see the grainy baking soda particles on the sculpture to still kind of give it that uh that stone look so i did i made this one pretty thick um as you can see it's pretty thick so then all you're gonna do is apply it and y'all on that first swipe i was just like this is gonna be so good I was so excited. I also started with this one because I thought that it would be the easiest. One, because I'm only using one color. And two, it's a very small base. So, like y'all, mm, I am, when I tell you, I was so freaking excited. Just look at it. It just, uh, I just really love that color. I really, really love that color. Don't forget to get inside too so um, everything looks uniform. And this is how it looked after two coats. Um, I did two coats, two to three coats with each vase, just so you know, but it looks so good. And then I added some eucalyptus because this will be going in my bathroom and I just thought it looked so good. This was probably one of my favorites. I think this was, yeah, this was definitely one of my favorites um, that I did. I just really love that, like, I love that look. So I'm just showing you guys again, this is another, so you can see the consistency since it is a lighter color here. Um, it just gets thick. This isn't as thick as the other one, you know, so you can see it's a little bit more runny So it depends. It definitely depends on what what you're trying to do um, But yeah, I want it like a not a white color, but like off-white So I did add some like brown specks to it. You can't really see it on camera But in person you can kind of tell that it's just not like stark white of like how the paint that I used but yeah y'all this is a very very simple DIY I don't want to take too much time just showing y'all me painting but literally that's all that this was you mix the colors together and then you paint that's it and again do not forget to get inside at least two two inches inside depending on how big your face is so like if you do peek over it does seem it does have a more seamless look and after two coats this is where we were at so you can see that it's not as just like white um, it does have a little hint of some type of color which is what I wanted and then I just put my plant in here since it's so big I didn't want to use flowers this is where my plant will be so I'm super excited 
so my plant can grow can just kind of cascade over it um, yeah I love this one too all right this is base number three just showing you guys the consistency again this base um, I was a little disappointed in it because it did have texture around the whole base and that didn't really show when I started putting paint on it you can kind of tell at the bottom of it but I thought it was just gonna be a little bit more prominent which you know it wasn't it's okay because um, I still like how it turned out but I did think my expectation was that it was gonna be a little bit more prominent but after three coats of the gray this is what we have and you can kind of see the texture at the bottom and then I also went in and filled in the inside because I realized that I I didn't do that but I did after um, and then yeah with the flowers this one is really pretty too the flowers are gorgeous the vase is gorgeous it just is a very like look it's just so pretty I absolutely love it Moving on to number four, this color, when I was doing it, I was just like, yeah, I don't think I like it when it first dried down. It kind of looked like Barbie and almost like pepto -Bismol. I don't know, it just didn't, it's not what I was feeling. So I did make the color a little bit darker and then I did three coats um, and then very textured. So I added a lot of baking soda to this one to give me that gritty texture because I really wanted one that was heavily texturized and I got it and I love it. And then with the flowers in it, it just looks like a new and old type of thing. I really, really like it. Very vintage. That's what I think it looks like. It looks so good. And then the last one, this was pretty easy. I kind of wanted a terracotta color, so that's what I have. I did about three coats of this one too, and I added a lot of some baking soda to it to make it more textured. Um, and after three coats, this is what it looks like. You can tell that it's textured. And you can see the brush strokes, which I do not mind at all. I think it gives it character. I think it just gives it so much. And then the flowers match the vase. I didn't do that. It's just, that's how you know you did it right when things just happen and coordinate like that. But yeah, this one turned out really, really well as, as well. Um, so yeah, y'all, that is all. That is it. That is, it's so very simple. I hope you guys do it. Please let me know down below which one you guys like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.